Hey guys, welcome back. Now it's a Friday, it's a cold Friday, winter night. I just got done with my chores. I had a long day today and uh, I wanna talk about life today. 2023, going into 2024. Is it hard? Let me tell you. Four years ago with $100, you could fill up a grocery cart full. It'll be full with groceries. Now, you go to the grocery store with $100, you're going to walk out of that grocery store with two bags. That's about it. If you're lucky, two bags, depending on what store you go to. If you buy stuff organic, you'll probably go out of a, out of a store with just one bag. So, you know, three years ago, we bought this place because we love farm. We love the country. We love... We love the atmosphere. We love, you know, waking up to chickens, you know, scream and, and all the, we just love the country. We want to get out of the city. But another reason why we bought this place is because we don't want to depend on anybody. We don't want to depend on that grocery store just in case there's an emergency. We don't want to depend on anybody. We want to be able to be self-sufficient. We want to be able to do stuff on our own. You know, People are maxing out their credit cards. Cost of living is crazy. Interest rates on houses are sky... It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I don't know how people are affording things nowadays. I really don't. I. It, it's crazy. But if you raise your own meat, grow your own food, things are going to help out. You know, my, my, my family's been doing it from the day I was born. You know, and, and not only is it healthy for you, it helps you save a little bit of money and, and it doesn't make you rely on that grocery store, that restaurant, that, you know, it, doesn't, it makes you rely on yourself and, and, and doing it yourself gives you some accomplishment. Do, you know, I don't need to go to the store for chickens, for chick, for chicken meat or, or for eggs because I raise my own. I get eggs every morning. You know, I believe that uh, even if you're growing stuff in your kitchen, in your house, you could, you know, do stuff, you know, you know, to make it easier on your family, easier on you and be more self-sufficient. Like my, my family, we, we are, we have our own chickens. We have our own turkeys. You know, we got chicken meat, chicken eggs. You know, we do it all on our own. You know, we're raising these. We know we are. We know what we're eating. Buying stuff in the store, crazy prices. And do you really know what you're eating? Do you really know how that chicken was raised? Probably not. But Thanksgiving this year, I knew her, I knew how my turkey was raised. I raised it. I raised it as best as I can. I made it live a great life, a really good life. I mean, let me tell you, I treat my animals and everybody on property probably better than me. You know, sometimes I gotta buy, I, I need to buy shoes. I don't buy shoes, but I get my horses trimmed, my horses hooves trimmed. It, it's crazy, it's crazy. But it's a way of living and, and it makes us, it makes me self-sufficient, makes my family self-sufficient. It's also, you know, for my kids, it makes them learn. It gives them responsibility. We have animals, you know, it's just, it's all about learning and, and being self-sufficient. And, and today, 20, we're, we're at the end of 2023 and my little guys, we're at the end of 2023. I think going forward, I think people should be more self-sufficient, you know, instead of relying on that grocery store, relying on that restaurant. Stuff's expensive, guys. You know, I, I, I was driving to work today, put on the news channel, and I, the big dilemma of this year is everybody's maxing out their credit cards. Why? Because they can't afford things. That's, that's basically the reason. If you can't afford to eat, why don't you grow your own food? Do something about it. You don't need a farm to grow your own food. You can have a little backyard. You can have your little kitchen. You can do it in your house. You know, it's, it's 
it's it's really easy really easy just uh that's my uh my uh t topic today that i'm gonna talk about is to be more self-sufficient grow your own food if you can raise your own chickens raise your own pigs raise your own meat if you can not everybody can but uh let me tell you growing growing stuff rather be in your kitchen or in your backyard or in your or in a bucket on your porch or in your balcony if you have an apartment or whatever it is let me tell you another story i knew a guy at work okay in the parking lot he found a little five by six space and he planted tomato plants and every morning before work before he got in his truck, because he had to pick his truck up on that yard, he used to water his tomato plants. They allowed it, and he did it, because he didn't have space in his backyard to do it. So, I admire that guy, you know? You know, that guy was uh, planting tomatoes for his family. So that's an example, but there should be no excuse. Whether you live in an apartment, or you live in a house, or you live in a condo, you can do it. Believe me, you can do it. You can grow stuff indoors. Just try it. There's going to be mistakes being made, but you can do it. All right, guys. Happy Friday. Happy New Year. Welcome back to Midwest Acres, baby.